<laughs> she hooks next to books. Cops in Massachusetts have arrested a 20-year-old woman for prostitution in a public library. She was overdue for a screw. Police got a tip. She was soliciting instead of studying and sent over an undercover cop. <clears throat> Speaking of books, check her out. <laughs> a little pun. <laughs> the adorable Brittany McIntyre allegedly approached the officer and immediately handed him pen and paper. The pair exchanged notes before she eventually offered a sexual act in exchange for 60 bucks. We aren't sure what the act was, but I'm guessing it's novel. Oh, my Arr -arr. God. <laughs> <laughs> Jedi uh, Jedediah. Okay. Yeah. These are my notes. I'm so confused. <laughs> I did this last night. Uh, you feel bad for her? She, was, she wasn't walking the streets. She was trying to do her prostituting <laughs> in a nice warm place. You know, I'm not surprised, actually. I find libraries very sexy. Like the stacks, you the would. old books. No, really. The privacy. It's not, it's not just because I like that's college professors. It's although privacy. That's part that's of it. Fetish. But it's, yes, exactly. So well, that I should have said that one, too. carried you into a library. Oh, that's that it. Would be amazing. Amazing. Then that, they're going to wow. have a really good night. Andy, are you yeah. always surprised when the prostitute is attractive? <laughs> not really, Greg, because I'm not gross like you. I like that she passed notes rather than talking in the library. That was polite. Yeah. It oh, showed, she is polite, and she was raised correctly. Yes. I am Team Brittany on this one. Yeah, right. yeah. By, by the, I, I am too. Joanne, uh, I argue that guys who look at porn in the library are much worse than what she was doing. Yeah. She was trying to do it quietly, mm -hmm. and she was providing a service, mm -hmm. unlike people who look at porn in the library. Mm -hmm. And this is like great PR for libraries. It is. Yeah. It is. Free PR. It is free PR. You know? Uh, although, I want to have a talk with her. What? $60? Yeah, You're know. worth a little bit more. I know. That's know true. Know your worth, women. Yeah, that's what that's, you know what she is, sadly. She's a victim of the drug war. Yeah. She's doing this to pay for drugs that should be legal. Oh. And so that's why she's there. She's prostituting herself cheaply. When If, she, if drugs were legal, she wouldn't have to do this. And she'd be le leading a much better life. I'm not Liz. I'm not sure. She, I think she's smart. I think she went for the geek market in the library. She probably and so she priced it right. Yeah, yeah. And with all those geeks we talked about in that other study. You know, and by, by the way, Andy made an interesting point because this blew up on the internet about, yeah. like, why is she writing it down? She should have checked out a book on legal evidence because she wrote it down. Yeah. But, you know, I think Andy's right. I think she was in a library. She didn't want to be rude and talk yeah. about it. Yeah. Probably. I don't know. I, I think uh, I think she. We I think we need to adopt her. Red Eye needs Absolutely. to adopt her. Yeah. I, mean, I, I was I was going to let her stay at my place, let her get back on her feet, but mm. I, I don't know if my wife will mind. <laughs> Do you think she would? I don't. I mean, you're. It's for a good cause. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, I think she think it was okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think it's just fine. have a prostitute, hot prostitute. <laughs> yeah, I, I I see no problem with that. All right, good. Then I, then I just won't tell my mom, and I'll just my wife, and I'll just bring her home. <laughs>